Okay, welcome back, Roulette Gang. We got a whole different approach today, so stay tuned here. We're coming at Roulette not like the traditional method of looking at the board. We're looking at the wheel today. So if, you, if you're interested in this one, guys, stick around. Like, subscribe, do what you gotta do. We appreciate it. We wanna interact. Let us know what's going on, John. How, how are we gonna hack roulette today? All right, yeah, so we're doing a totally different approach. Um, if you've seen any roulette strategy videos, whether they be ours or somebody else's, oftentimes you'll see people playing the board, like with, you know, and that's their main focus. It's on certain numbers on the board, um, you know, yada, yada, yada. Well, this strategy is going to be completely de independent from that. We are gonna be playing the way the numbers are on the wheel. So on the board, numbers are done in order or in sequence. On the wheel, obviously you've seen that they're printed in a different direction. So like one is next to 13, is next to 36, is next to 24. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to it. That's just the way that the casinos have printed them. So what we're gonna do, the strategy is called half moon. We're like going that. to play half of the wheel. Um, so if you think of a half moon and that little crevice there, we're gonna be covering that half. The waning crescent? Yes, that. <laughs> um, in terms of some details, I'm buying in with $700. Um, we're using the red chips. They're gonna be $1 in value. I'm gonna be putting $3 on every number that I'm playing. So the spin cost me $54, and if I win, I'm winning 105, I'm getting 105 back. Um, and we're gonna do 10 spins. So bear with me for the first few times because it's gonna take me a little while to get used to what numbers we're playing, but um, here we go. Also, let him know about the blue chips. He's got 200 yeah. in singles, and he has 500 in blue chips, which each blue chip is gonna be $100. So if he loses his 200 in singles, I'm gonna catch him out and give him another hundred. So hopefully he doesn't need to do that though. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see. Um, I've never played this way. I've never played the wheel um, uh, like strictly like this. So this is gonna be an interesting experience for for me to see, and, and hopefully we can get you guys some good content, some nice. good footage. Let's get it for uh, you know for your strategies moving forward. Okay. Oh, get it. We'll let you get it. We'll let you get it. All right, there we go. 21. And it's a loss. Yeah. All right, first one's a loss. Nice That's all right. Star. Um, also, depending on when you're watching this, we're going to Foxwoods June 12th and 13th. So if there is a strategy that you want to see us do in real life, or rather in a casino um, and not just on a practice board, let us know in the comment section below or shoot us an email um, and we will do our best to do it at the casino at Foxwoods. Um, because I know a lot of times, and Tom can comment on this as well, we'll do, people do strategies online and they work like a charm, and then they get into the casino and Bang. shit hits the fan. So let, we're, we're, uh, you know, we're, we'd love to give one of these a try in real life. So let us know. Yeah, for sure. We might be, we might be showing up at, oh, it's a, a slow spin. We might be showing up at Foxwoods and just, you know, Take the whole place down, dude. You never know. Yeah, run the wheel strategy, the half moon. The half moon. Ooh. All right, two losses. The other row. half. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. So we're moving and shaking here. You know, I got, I just got a good idea. What if you went with a buddy or something? And you played one half of the moon, and he played the other half. You'd never lose. You would never lose. Yeah. Unless it hit zero. Unless it hit zero. Well, no, but you play that. So you play. Well, yeah, I guess you might do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just be like, oh, this is great. We just we make zero dollars, and we never lose. <laughs> This is a good segue into 
the whole theory of like, you know, I gotta hit this number, I can't do this, I can't do that, like, you know, I can't hit the same color ten times in a row. Because we have half the wheel. Yeah, we're not falling into any of that. Are we falling train into of that? Thought. No, because yeah, we're playing half the wheel. We're not playing a color. We missed we're not two playing in a row. A number. We're playing half of the wheel. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's fight, dude. Let's get a couple of dubs. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, oh my, my god! Jeez. All right. So we are off to a very slow start. <laughs> This is great. This is awesome. Yeah, I don't know if we should try this one, Fox Hoods. Three. Smack that 11, dude. Yeah, seriously, I don't mind that. Smack that 11. Oh, that was oh insane. Oh my gosh. gosh. Holy cow. Oh my god. This is, a beating. this is an absolute beating. So we have an entire side of the wheel, and it's done nothing but hit the opposite. Like, uh, just crazy. I'll tell you right now, it's going through the person's head. It's doing this. They're saying, man, should I go on the other side? Oh, when you do that, it's gonna get you on the You gotta keep punching, dude. You gotta keep showing up. I'm showing up. My wallet wouldn't be showing up, though. I'd be pretty tested. Like, slap that ATM. Yeah. Don't ever go to the ATM when you're at the casino. That's when you know that you're, you're hitting some rough patches. Just walk away at that point. <laughs> that, should be, that should be like chapter one of the Red Gang course. Yeah, never go. Go to the ATM. Come with the money that you go with and leave it at that. Yeah. If or you can do like Devin and put the money in the car, say you're not gonna come back, and then go back and get it. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, let's get a win here. This is our fifth spin, I'm pretty sure. So let's, let's see what we can do. $700 starting bankroll. 26. That's one. Yeah, Bang. we got one. There we go. Smack that 26. All right, so $3 multiplied by 35. You get $105 that should be coming back. He's going to get one of his... Blues back, do you have enough reds for the next round? Or do you want um, some reds? We'll see, we'll see. So, $105 back. Um, yeah, we'll see. I might need to cash in, but we'll see. Okay. Number six. Watch you. I I can like just pick the number. Like I can feel it. Like it's it's something like right there. It's gonna be right there. Yeah. Thirteen. Black thirteen. Watch. Watch. All right. Oh. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Basically thirteen. And another loss. Another loss. Wow, dude. You're I'm getting amazed. murdered. Yeah, I know. Like, just, nope, you're a little bit off that. Only slightly. I had the 13 right, it was just the way I was seeing it in my vision, it was just 
Obviously, this is hindsight 2020 stuff, but if you had done the other side of the wheel, you would have been on fire. I would have won every time, yeah. I've only won one time. 32! 32. 32. Oh, there we go. Alright. Um, I'm gonna need the nerves. Okay, so you're getting 105. Like you're saying, if we had if we had played the other side, we would have would be way up right now. True. This is true. Yeah. This so, is true. But that you know that's every strategy too. You know, like sometimes strategies just don't work. Um, but if you know you play it on another day, it works. Just like sports teams and such. Sometimes strategies in the playbook don't work. But then the next time you play the team, you know they do work. So. All right, another loss. <laughs> so. <laughs> Losing is like the normal state. We're going to do one more spin because... Just for pride? Just for pride. One more. One more for... Last spin, last spin. for the people. Like and subscribe, please. We need you. John needs you. Twenty nine. Wow. Let's go. I, I, I think it's like the uh, barometric pressure in the uh, atmospheric. Uh, it's throwing off the wheel. Must be. All right. So here's four hundred. Uh, what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 426. And I started with $700. Wow. wow. So I lost a pretty good amount of money there, guys, on the half moon. Uh, you know, but if I had played the other side of the board, you know, who knows? Probably would have netted quite a bit of wins, but... Whatever, you know, take it for what it's worth. This is just a strategy review. Um, so you see how things can go when you play the wheel versus playing the board. Um, you know, let us know what you think and let us know if you have any other strategies or whatnot you'd like us to try and we'll give it a whirl. So, wow, I'm shocked. Yeah, I'm surprised. So, but anyways, good luck out there. Give it your all.